Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. This is a um, VR for a challenge that I've been um, lucky enough to enter. And it, it, it is for Evie, and I'm sorry Evie, but I just cannot pronounce um, your surname. It would come out all jumbled with my German and English pronunciation. Um, but anyway, so if you don't want to see what I've made, um, you better not watch this video. But um, I'll just go through some of the items um, that I've used to make this wall hanger. And as you all know that I do buy um, pre-loved clothing, like lace dresses, lace tops, scarves and shawls. Um, it's just too expensive for me to buy any of the fancy laces at this point of time. And um, what I do is once I get everything home, um, any item, I do um, wash them and then put fabric conditioner through them to give them a really nice smell. So um, they are clean when I use them for my projects. So what I've done is I've used the base of the um, wall hanging from a um, placemat and I've used it because it's slightly padded and I actually bought it for the pattern but of course it'll be all covered up by the time I finished um, with the project but I still have a little bit left and it's really really pretty nice and soft um, I then had this embroidered table runner um, which is damaged when I bought it which is okay and I've actually used um, this scene the flowers and the leaves and I cut that out and you'll see how I've used that and I've also used a belt I mean look at the pretty colors on that it's got a bit of a shimmer to it and really pastel colors but I won't tell you what I use that for you'll see it I've used some of this glitter tulle that comes on a roll. Um, I've had that for a while and I use it a fair bit on my projects. And I use that in the background. Here's one of the tops that I purchased and I bought that because of the um, lace that it had on it. And also it had a really pretty um, trim, just a nice little dangle trim just here. So I've used a bit of that on the wall hanging. piece of fabric uh, from a cocktail dress that I bought well over 12 months ago now and this is my last piece now and I use this to cut the flowers out um, the sorry the leaves out um, to use in various projects and then for the um, beautiful trim I actually um, was able to be lucky enough to get this from an op shop it's a beautiful scarf but look at the look at that lovely trim just there and there's about three yards of it all up and I bought it for a dollar well you couldn't buy this trim for a dollar and it's so soft it's really really pretty so I've used that as um, part of the edging of the plug I've used some beautiful um, pearl seed bead trim that I was gifted um, this is from Deb Henricks and um, it's just come in really handy and because I've um, heard that Evie loves dangle so I thought well this will be just perfect I also used some of my um, beautiful trim um, from a lampshade that came off a lampshade and um, that's all I've got left now so I'm using it sparingly but I did use some on this project as well I've used a curtain um, that I had and it had an oval uh, piece in the middle which I cut out to frame uh, the scene, the fairy tale, the fairy scene and it has sort of really pretty raised edges so that's all I've got left but I can also use that. It's really really pretty and very soft. And then believe it or not I was very very lucky I've been hunting around for very tiny trims and this one I got from a town a lady that has a little sewing shop I live in a town of 1700 people and here I've been looking for this trim and she is actually see if I can get this 
no, no good. But it's a really pale pink and it's got this tiny little string of pearls or beads threaded through it. So I've been able to get some in pink, as you can see there, in white and in um, mint. And then I was able to get some other trim because I'm after this really narrow trim, which is really hard to find. But I thought that pink was just perfect and I'll pop that on there as well. And then I've used, um, you know, you can call it eyelash trim, but it's not the real eyelash trim. It's actually a ball that you can make scarves out of. And because it has these beautiful um, natural colours, foresty colours, I've used that as well. So I'll show you the back of this um, wall hanging first. So as you can see, this is the top. And it comes right down to finish it off with that beautiful little trim there. So the, the um, placemat and the shawl is behind it and I just covered it with um, um, that pretty lace of the top. Popped in a little crocheted band and then it holds a little envelope with my details in it, Effie. So here you can see how the trim comes out of the sides and it does have a little hanger and it's part of the curtain um, that was con that is continued where I've cut the oval piece out and I've just made a little hanger out of it. So that's the back of it. And of course, here is the front of the beautiful dangles. As you can see, um, this is the top. Um, I've had some um, beautiful leafy dangle. Um, this came from Seriously Scrapping, Irene of Melbourne, and when she had a 50% sale, I was able to get some of this. Um, that was a while ago. And then also this pretty little dangle here as well. Here are those beautiful, that beaded trim from uh, Deb Henricks, and um, it just really softens it up. And then you'll see through here, here is that lovely neutral eyelash trim. This beautiful trim here was gifted to me by Eleanor from Gargoyle. It was part of my prize package when I won her wall hanger in the challenge she had. And here you'll see the um, leaf appliques that I cut out from the fabric. Popped on these tiny little flowers um, that I do use for my horses as well. And they come from Luscious Laces, um, Annette um, James from Fa on the Facebook page. And here you'll see the doily, um, not the doily, the um, table mat, the um, table runner, the embroidered piece that I cut out, the flower part, a fussy cut around it. Popped on some pearls and some little, um, um, I don't know what you call them, they were gifted to me by Sheila from Art of Life. Um, she gave me some of these. And um, I've popped them on the darker colours just to soften them up a little bit. Flat back pearls, these are from Vanessa, um, and some more little flat back pearls. These little stamens I was able to get hold of for 20 cents from an op shop with little bundles. I thought, oh, that'll be a, a nice little texture in there, gives the whole thing a bit of dimension. So here's my little butterfly fairy. I hope you like it, Evie. A um, little bit different, and I've um, got this image from Pinterest hubby printed out and I cut it up and I popped it on some cardboard and I put a little foam backing on the back so she's away from the actual um, fabric and there is the little tulle with the sparkles and the whole part is framed with that oval piece um, of the curtain that I mentioned as you can just see here the scalloped edges and behind the scalloped edges I put some of that yarn um, that had the neutral colours make it look a bit foresty. Here is a piece of that lampshade dangle, so I thought that just looked really nice and some little furry, soft furry bits of the, um, fuzzy, fuzzy bits just here. Some more of the leaf trim, but what I've done was with the leaf trim, I've actually put some of these glass stones underneath just to give it a bit of sparkle. But I've popped this trim that was gifted to me by... Um, Flare by me, the wall hanging that I won, 
and uh, Melanie popped in some of this and it's absolutely gorgeous so what I've put done is pop that over the stones first then I've applied the leaf trim and what I wanted to um, make the effect of that she was sort of sitting inside and you know hiding away and the leaf sort of just draw, um, um, just sort of drapes over and of course um, there is that beautiful pink pearl trim that I mentioned before this is a dragonfly brooch that was broken so I've popped that on the side um, some paper flowers these were also gifted to me by Deb Henricks in the happy mail that I received um, just a little bit of bling on the corner just to be a bit different and of course this is this um, leaf fern trim from Irene Seriously Scrapping some more of the um, applique the leaf applique that I cut out and here's the continuation of the whole curtain as it comes up I've made it into um, you know the hanger and just popped in some flat back pearls to uh, strengthen it and I had a bit of this left over my little bow to pop on there so yes yeah, so I hope you like it um, of course a little butterfly just here and then I framed the sides with the belt it, I think it just really sets it off really nicely it's amazing what you can use um, so yes a little bit of sparkle I've uh, put a little bit of glitter on the butterfly fairy see if you can see that just there and popped a little pearl on a little headband um, I highlighted some of the green a little bit more and highlighted the little flowers there as well so yeah so let me know what you think I really enjoyed um, making this I hope you like it Evie um, I've tried to keep it in all the soft colors um, with a little bit of shabby thrown in with this lovely trim but um, yes a little butterfly fairy and um, like I said ladies I'm gonna leave the link below in the description box just down here so go and check it out the challenge is going to go until end of April so and I've had a couple of days left and um, to be able to um, enter the challenge this won't get posted for another two weeks Evie so you'll just have to wait and I'll have, there'll also be a little surprise in the package as well so ladies that's it for me for today um, we're back on the road again tomorrow quick update um, hubby's first operation was was not successful but they're not giving up so he's having his second one on Monday so we will actually be away now for at least two months and um, so I'm just going to take with me some basic uh, craft supplies and I have made a few bits and pieces already so that I can take them with me so um, stay tuned um, thank you very much for watching um, if you like this just give me the thumbs up um, and I hope you all have a great day um, probably the beginning of the weekend for most of you it's very cool here today we've had some hot days but anyway I better stop chatting so until next time you know what you've got to do I'll be doing it you know here and there when I get the time now until next time happy crafting bye for now